What's up guys? Welcome back to Ultimate MMA Plus. We are back with part three of our arm triangle series. All right, this time the guy's going to bail out and he's going to turtle up and look to escape the turtle. So, a lot of times what happens is the guy is going to turtle up to defend side control. All right. I'm in here, he's going to push on my shoulder a little with this arm to make space to get this out to come into to turtle. And if you're good at turtle and you're good at defending the back, you'll do this. If you're not, definitely don't do it. But if you have really good back escapes, it's a very good option. He's going to push, bail out. I'm going to follow him into a back position. Then I'm going to come inside under his arm. I'm not going to go to my seat belt. If he's good at defending the back, he's going to start holding his arm. I'm going to have some trouble. So I'm going to go to a position underneath his armpit and wrestle. And they call, call this the claw in here. I'm going to come underneath his arm. I'll show on the other side too. And I'm going to get to here. There's two options of grips. Palm to palm, or if you have MMA gloves, you could even go the S grip. All right? No MMA gloves, you're going to go palm to palm. MMA gloves, you might want to use the S grip. So I want to be inside here. Make sure you guys dip your shoulder. Don't have your knee down either. Because if I have my knee down, I can get caught in a, in a knee bar here. So I'm going to have my leg up. Come underneath to the claw position and get here. I'm going to come and go palm to palm. The one around the neck is this way. This is palm down. So I don't get it confused. So then I come here. Drop my shoulder and come here. I'm going to be nice and tight. I cannot hang out here. I have to do this quick. I'm going to straighten out my leg that's by, by his knee here. And I'm going to bring him all the way over. Adjust. Get to my position, knee on belly again, and finish the choke. Let's go on this side. Here, he bails out. I come inside here. Come underneath the armpit, get to the claw position. You cannot go here <coughs> and hang out. He'll jump over. Jump over. No, no, no. Yeah, and get side control. In here, so you cannot hang out there. This is one motion, boom, and roll them right over. So if you're going with a chubby dude like Yuri, yeah. don't hang out there because he'll just step right over. Here, push, go. Inside here, come underneath. Control, I can stay here as long as I want. Then I'm gonna switch, I'll do the S grip now. Get inside here. Remember, no matter what grip I use, palm facing towards his back. Here, keep my head in tight, and as I sit through, I'm pulling him here. Adjust, get my head in, then switch palm to palm. Keep my head tight, he already feels it, and then you can do what you can get in here. Let's go to this angle. Well, here, he pushes on the shoulder, bails out, I follow him. Get inside. Here, come underneath the armpit, control him from this position. If I'm doing MMA, I'm going to get here. Switch positions, I'm pulling him as I scissor my leg. <clears throat> come in here, adjust, adjust. See how I adjusted? Adjust, adjust. I got to keep pulling my arm. Right now I'm still s -grid. Once I feel it's tight, then I switch. Put my knee on the belly, boom. There's a lot of different finishes here. The finish we're working on today is knee on the belly. I have a whole bunch of different ways. Let's go where your head is on this side, and then we'll switch. And this, just so you guys know, this isn't something that wouldn't work on a bigger guy because he's smaller than me. I could do it, and Yuri has a hurt knee, or I would do it to him. This is a momentum move. It doesn't take any strength at all. I don't feel his weight at all. So it's just the momentum. Push on the shoulder. He goes. Doesn't make a difference how big the guy is. In here. Come. Get. I practice the S grip just because I just think of MMA gloves. In here. And then I switch my base as I pull him. And he just rolls right over me. I don't feel anything. Scissor my legs. Adjust, adjust. Two adjustments, 
Then I come here. Then I put my knee on the belly and finish. Let's go this angle. Bring your heads over here. And here, push. He gets out. Follow him. Come inside here. Open him up a little. Come here. Look at. See how this arm's on his back? Don't be like this. Here. Underneath, open them a little. When I come, be on the back. Don't be here. Don't be here. See how loose that is? Yeah. Here. And then he feels like nothing. Look, slow motion. He doesn't feel like anything. There's nothing to stop him from going over. Because I have his arm. All right, guys, that's part three. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. You can definitely leave us a comment if you have any questions about the arm triangle or if you want to see any different finishes. All right, guys? Everyone got it? On three. One, two.